Immerdale's Mark Charnock, 53, was inundated with support last night after he won the British Soap Award for Best Dramatic Performance. He was left emotional after receiving a heartfelt message from Coronation Street actress Georgia Taylor on social media. Mark had taken to Twitter to thank his amazing fans for their support of his portrayal of Marlon Dingle, who suffered a stroke during a recent storyline in the show. He penned, profound thanks to all of you and you know why. You're amazing, you really are. I've said it before and I'll say it again, you. Us. We are hashtag Team Emmerdale at Soap Awards responding to the post, George appraised Mark as wonderful following his acceptance of the coveted gong. She typed, you've been so wonderful, Mark and there was a lot of love for you in that room last night. From all caps 20 Mark who has played Marlon since 1996, replied, Ah, Georgia. That's a lovely thing to read. Sincerely, thank you so much, you lovely person. 20 fans of the TV show rushed to Mark's tweet to congratulate him on his achievement. Rafranco said, it couldn't have been anyone else at Mark Sharnick your performance has genuinely moved me to tears and is getting across some really important messages. You should be extremely proud of yourself. So, medallion or brooch? Congratulations again 20 Maria Michelson 1 added, Hi Mark really big congratulations on the price yesterday it deserved you. I so wanted you to win, for that story of Marlon Strokes. You are really sweet and funny and nice person and yes I am a very big fan of you and I love you, the best dingle in Immerdale. XX, sick, Catherine 91948821 typed, huge congratulations. I had a stroke in real life and I am a survivor. It was a major stoke and took me about 12 months to recover and you portrayed it very well. It just came on from nowhere 20, sick, during his acceptance speech, Mark thanked the Emmerdale cast and crew, the Stroke Association, and two stroke survivors, for helping him accurately portray the terrifying condition. Addressing them directly, Mark said, I'm forever in your debt. Mark also told the audience that more needs to be done for stroke funding and research.